two Minnesota women were killed by a boulder after it became dislodged from a moving car and slammed into theirs. The victims, Karen J. Christensen, 67, and Jenna H. Christensen, 32, were pronounced dead after the boulder hit their 2002 Toyota on Monday, according to a press release from the Rosemount Police Department. The two women, who were mother and daughter, had significant trauma from the crash. WABC reported the pair from blunt force head trauma. The boulder weighed about 800 pounds, and it took for firefighters to move it from the Toyota, CBS News reported. The boulder allegedly went through the entire vehicle. What's sad about this is it could have been prevented, Rosemount Police Chief Mitchell Scott told the outlet. He added the boulder was not secured in the back of the vehicle. It's so important. We're in a society today where we're in such a hurry that we don't always secure things, Scott added. It's so important to secure loads. Want to keep up with the latest crime coverage? Click here to get breaking crime news, ongoing trial coverage and details of intriguing unsolved cases in the True Crime Newsletter. Police arrested the driver of the truck carrying the boulder, Joe P. Check, on Wednesday. The 33-year-old was driving a car from the company he owned, the press release said. He was arrested and booked into Dakota County Jail, although charges against him are pending, according to Fox News. Gina's boyfriend, Ryan Killian, released a statement to local news outlet WCCO saying she was the most amazing person I have ever met. She was so smart and beautiful. She made me the man I am today, I would be nothing without her, Killian said. She would do anything for anyone who needed help. She loved her family so much, she had an amazing sense of humor. I literally have spent hours just talking to her. We had a connection like no other, he continued. My heart is broken. The world has lost an angel.